So today, we are back in Floating Sandbox, and folks, there has been a brand new update. We have a shipbuilder in filling the Titanic up with gunpowder is not a good idea. So if you guys want to see more, hit the thumbs up button, and let's jump in. All right, so let's play with the first new tool. We have the Wind Maker. So I guess this is similar to the Wave Maker, except for it's wind. Uh, how does this work? Oh, look at that. We can blow around the water. Like, I feel like this isn't violent enough, though. Uh, I think if I hold shift, okay, shift's a little bit more violent. We're pushing the Titanic back, uh, but still, nonetheless, it's not ripping it apart like I want it to. <laughs> we can turn on ultra violent mode. Okay, let's do this. Now let's try the Windmaker. Okay, normal settings, not too bad. We're pushing it down. Uh, let's go to shift settings and, oh, <laughs> hold on. We're kind of pushing it down into the water. Uh, is it gonna go down all the way? Come on sink hmm we need some assistance so let's go ahead and set the base wind all the way oh dear oh okay that might have been too much assistance all right now let's use this there we go so we got the waves working with us we're making the uh, front part of the titanic slightly fly so yeah i can see where this tool would be kind of useful but for my destructive needs we definitely need to turn it up a lot and yeah we ripped it in half and up oh, there it goes Another big part of the update, and this is where we're going to segue into, could we potentially make this Titanic a little bit stronger? I don't know if this is necessarily the ship you want to edit, but we're going to do it anyways. So if you look up here, we have the ship builder as they play sad music in the background. We're going to go ahead and edit this ship. So yeah, here it is. This is a full blown ship builder. Like we can go in and start from scratch, which we will do that later in the episode. So stay tuned, but I can go in here and actually change aspects to it. So you've got an erase tool. I mean, we can just erase a big hole in it and start that way. But there is a fill tool. So I can fill it with different materials. I don't really know how this is supposed to work, but here we go. We've got all your different metals. We've got plastic woods, rubber, glass. Wait, we can make the Titanic glass. Oh, uh, okay. So it's filling up all the boiler areas. Like, I feel like... If we fill that full of glass, will it be able to take on water? All right, here we go. Glass Titanic. What? What the? Wait. Um, okay. So the Titanic's like uber not buoyant. We're also chasing a shark down. Man, it looks like it gives zero. What happens when it hits the bottom of the ocean? Does it just break open? I'm hoping that's what's going to happen here. Like it barely has any flex. Oh, it's starting to flex now. The pressures are building. Hold on, is it gonna explode? Look how deep it's getting. If anything, we made this thing a little bit stronger, right? I am an engineer. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, it's somewhat held up. And we're back. Okay, what other things do we have? So we have plastic, rubber, glass, carbon, concrete, cloth. I mean, a cloth Titanic would be cool. Ooh, you could fill it full of like hydrogen. Uh, that is explosive. Okay, that sounds like we just made the uh, Titanic into a bomb. Wait, do we have any sort of like liquids or anything? Other materials, gunpowder, these, why would you do this? How about we stuff the Titanic full of gunpowder and light it on fire? Okay, so here's a question. Did we make this thing essentially a firework? Here we go. Uh-oh, huh. This doesn't seem to be lighting up. I had an error in the ship builder and I feel like I might've destroyed something. We'll give it a second here though. Yeah, sometimes gunpowder just needs a little bit of encouragement. You can do it, Serpent King. You can do it, Serpent King. No. Uh, Maybe a little bit more encouragement. Let's try something else. There we go. All right, detonate these and yeah, that definitely didn't work. That should have been a bigger kaboom. Uh, back to the drawing board. I mean, we could fill it up with the diesel too. That burns pretty nice. Okay, we're trying this again with the gunpowder. Light it up, light it. Oh, it's heavy. Okay, come back to the surface, please. Uh, I feel like this is gonna have to be done with explosives. The heat blaster just isn't heating up the gunpowder for some reason. Oh, oh, there it goes. Dude, that totally works. Okay, so what we need to do, we gotta reset this. Uh, that was pretty satisfying. So we're gonna reset, let's pause the game. Okay, we're gonna make the water like super buoyant. That way it keeps the Titanic above uh, the sea level. And then we're gonna light it like a firecracker. Okay, well we have super buoyant water. It actually exploded at the front end of the Titanic, but let's see if we've uh, completed our objective here. Let's go ahead and start to heat this up real quick. Oh, buddy. Oh, there it goes. Why is it not a chain reaction? Wait, why is it all exploding in one area? Oh. Oh, 
Oh, look how hot it's gotten. Holy man, it's going to the moon. So turning the uh, Titanic into purely gunpowder was a great idea. It's still exploding. Uh, oh, okay. We've uh, definitely broken physics here. Um, <laughs> I haven't changed anything to the Titanic besides making a gunpowder. Like it's not stronger. I don't know what's happening here. It is a big glowing meteorite right now. Uh, it's going to the ocean. Is it going to cool down? Oh, it exploded again. So the shipbuilder is pretty cool. So I guess I kind of have another question. Like if you were to grab, say, this cruise ship here, and if you were to fill it full of nitrogen, or was it nitrogen? I think it was. Like would it float? Would it actually make it light? And then could you pop it in the sky like a big hot air balloon? Yeah, so we have hydrogen, which is explosive. And if we were just to fill this in, by the way, you can actually make the ship out of hydrogen. I don't know how that works, but yeah, there's a pencil tool that you can draw. Am I actually filling this? Oh, it's definitely filling it. Holy man. Okay, here's our hydrogen ship. Comment down below. Is it gonna float or is it gonna explode? Here we go. Three, two, one. Oh dear. Uh. Wow, we made it into a hot air balloon. It's just floppy. I got an idea. If we reset this, let's move it up slightly. Uh, let's just heat it up in the sky. Like, say if it wasn't interacting with the uh, the ocean here, what would it do? It floats. <laughs> okay, it's starting to go down. I, I feel like I didn't fill it up completely, but it pretty much floats. Like, it's taking it forever to fall down here. That is awesome. So we must uh, get it down. What if we just popped it? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I don't think we can pin this up enough. Oh, no. Come on. Use the pin power. Uh, okay, that didn't work. Um, if you heat up hydrogen, is there like a, a way to heat it up? You know, kind of like a hot air balloon where they don't like explode the balloon with the little uh, dilly mabob. My editor, uh, give me a diagram of a hot air balloon. What is the uh, the dilly mabob that shoots the fire out? So could we do that if we were to put heat below it? I, I'm trying to like over engineer this and I don't know what I'm talking about. So this is probably a, a, a bit of an issue, but here we go. Uh, unpause and then, okay. Oh, I can't just stick the heat in the air. I got to get it below it. Wait, is this working? It, it still looks like it's climbing a little bit. Nope, it's starting to fall now. Oh, I need more. I need more. Uh, maybe ultraviolet. Oh, okay, we got a little too close. All right, ultraviolet mode and... Oh, <laughs> uh, this is the most confusing thing ever. Like, what is even happening here? Oh, we are making this thing molten hot. You know, I thought maybe we'd get a couple of normal sinks. You know, there is six new ships. I don't know which ones they are. I kind of wish they would list those in the patch notes, but I mean, we're doing this. This is definitely a thing. All right, so I've got a couple other things I want to play with before we go into the ship builder. So we're going to go ahead and pull out of the Windmaker again. I got to remember that is actually a nine. So we've got that. Right now it is in ultra violent mode. So I was kind of curious. Like if I were to spawn in a tsunami here, so here we go, triggering the tsunami. So can I affect the tsunami with the Windmaker? Like what if I were to start blowing against it? Oh, it is not strong enough. Our ultra violent mode? Oh, we pretty much can't like manipulate this, can we? Like I thought we were going to be able to. I'm trying to fight the tsunami with the Windmaker. I'm trying to save the Arizona over here. Uh, yeah, it's totally screwed. On. I think the only thing I'm doing, I'm basically giving it massage. It's like vibrating it. Are there any other solutions? I don't think they have any, really any other tools. I'm sorry, Arizona. All right, there it is. Uh, wow. I actually don't think this is gonna do anything to the Arizona. You were fine, buddy. Oh, and let's try to blow it away here. Uh, that kinda is working. It, you can see it like somewhat disturbing the front of the ship, but the Arizona is just a little too strong. Wait, what the heck? I didn't call in the second one. Oh, we have double tsunamis. They're about to run into each other. This one seems to be moving actually quite a bit faster. Now I have to see them run into each other. Come on, tsunamis, kiss. Here they go. What are they gonna do? Wait, what tsunami is gonna win is actually the question. And whoa, whoa. <laughs> That was weird. Anyways, back to what I was doing. Uh, let's go ahead and go click, 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 click. Okay, I think this is enough. Oh, and I'm erasing some of these. 
Uh, we gotta make it disappear before the tsunami gets here. We've gotta save the Arizona, even though it's perfectly capable of surviving against a tsunami. All right, here we go. Oh, jeez. Uh, yeah, there's nothing left for it to suck up here. Like, normally it, like, sucks up big parts of the ship. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty much gone. What the? You know, this is the part where normally it explodes a million different parts on the screen. I think we put so many of those uh, anti-matter bombs on there that there's nothing left. So here we go. We have the ship builder. So this is a uh, fairly simple. You can create basic ships. Now, a lot of the detailed ships you see, I think are like a base ship and then they slap the image over it. I I'm just guessing at that. But uh, if we were wanting to do this, we could uh, probably go into metal here. Well, let's find an iron hole. Let's go with the red one here. So we can, I guess we could fill in this whole area and just make a big metal block. But I want to go in a little bit more detail. So we got particle lines. We have a particle structure. This is like a pencil. Oh, okay. I get how this works. So let's see how Komodo draws ships. Let's go yoink. Okay. Oh, I meant to do that. Uh, that's a part of the, uh, I was about to say aerodynamics, but it's a ship. So wouldn't that be hydrodynamics, I think? I don't know. Uh, this is the front of the ship. Komodo knows what he's doing. Okay, we come back here. Oh, see, I meant for that. That's, uh, they, they do anchor stuff there. Oh, okay, that went down. Yeah, I'm not really draw good at drawing like in paint. So this is essentially what it's like. Okay, and connect. Boom, that looks great. Okay, so let's change materials. Well, obviously, do I need to make it where there's like areas for maybe the engines and stuff? Is that a thing? I think the ship builder is fairly early on right now. So I don't know if that is a thing or not. Okay, let's fill this in real quick. Look at that. That's kind of a boat. Okay, so we're going to do a line here. All right, this is kind of where like the bridge is. And then we'll go clunk, clunk. And then we'll come back like this. Uh, we'll come down. We'll have to put some funnels on it. I have no clue what I'm doing right now. Uh, I'm kind of still curious if we can power this thing. And then here, let's go down like that. That is hideous. Wow. Okay. We might want to put some windows or something in. We'll draw a couple in here in a minute. Uh, let's get a funnel. Let's get, do we have like a doo-doo brown? Uh, we'll go with this iron. Uh, okay. So it's like a cheap iron. Let's go ahead and draw our funnels here. So let's go boom, boom, boom. Uh, let's do another one here. I mean, these aren't actually going to work. They're just here for show. Uh, oh, kind of screwed that one up there. It's fine. I mean, that's the basics of drawing the ship. Uh, there's a lot more detail you could probably add into here. Like, I'm trying to figure out what some of these, like, what is the, the lines? Was it, is this what I needed to use earlier to draw the hole? Maybe, huh? Let's get a wood box on the back of it. So if I go clunk. Oh, Oh, that seems a little more effective. Wait, what is this? Oh, you know what? This might be for like the ropes and stuff, potentially. Is that what that is? Yeah, I'm sure you can draw chains and ropes and make it all look fancy, but this is uh, the Komodo Craft. This is a luxury cruise liner. And let me know, would you guys go aboard this and pay me millions of dollars because I need to make money? Okay, so it checked the ship and said it was good. So we're going to name it the DFSW, whatever that is. And then let's spawn it. Oh, there it is. She flew. Oh, so there's a lot I need to learn about the ship builder, but it is in here and I highly suggest you guys go check it out. Uh, I will have a link down in the description. Um, I like the music it's playing. So I take it I was not supposed to fill this up. Hold on. Oh geez, it exploded when it hit. Uh, this is fine. So what if I were just to empty this? So if we go to clear, uh, oh, what's clear? Wood hole, what, wait, what does clear mean? I don't know. Let, let's just do something else here. Let's, can I clunk? All right. So now we have a wooden ship. So in theory, this is a lot lighter, right? All right. Let's try this one. Yeah. My ships don't float. Um, they kill fish. I don't really know what's happening. Well, I think we can only really do one thing to this. It's as if the ship didn't even exist. Thanos snap. Ah, uh, that was beautiful. That was quite classy. Actually. I like the music playing in the background. And we just snapped our fingers. Can I say no snap a fish? No, I can't. Well, I'm not really sure what we learned here today. We learned that Komodo can't build ships. Uh, filling ships with gunpowder is a bad idea. And I had fun. And you, should got, you guys should go check this out. Link down in the description. We'll see you guys next time.